All right, so today I've got something new, as you probably read, or it's new to me, I guess it's not new to you. It, but it's, so this is gonna be, um, this is my first time trying KFC's chicken sandwich. Um, I've heard great things about it. I've also got mashed potatoes and gravy um, as a side. It normally comes with fries, I just like the mashed potatoes and gravy more. I think you all, you all probably knew that though. And so, um, let's see, never had it before. It was not very expensive. This is only like $8 to get all this after tax. So, let's see. Okay. I'm reaching in and, all right. So, um, you've probably seen the commercials where they say how big it is. This thing is pretty big for a chicken sandwich. It's got pickles chicken and mayo on it and the chicken looks like their original recipe which I freaking love so we're gonna see how gonna see how good sexy this is so I mean just look at that all right well, let's take our first bite It's definitely fresh because it's a bit hot. <laughs> but the commercial says that they make it to order. So, I mean, there's been a lot of commercials for this thing. They're really pushing the chicken sandwich. Um, I didn't get a bite of mayo that time, I don't think. Maybe I didn't. Um, I like pickles. I love pickles, actually. Um, but one thing, one issue I always have with pickles is that um, their rinds, their crud, their skins are too hard, and so you can't bite through them cleanly. So I always end up pulling them up, but I did in that time, which is interesting. Yeah, I love the taste of the chicken. The original, the original recipe is so fantastic. That's an absolute, it's an absolute marvel of, of cooking. Um, the pickles add a nice, um, pungency, like dillness to it because they're dill pickles. Um, I'm going to take this pickle out. The mayo adds a nice creaminess to it that I really love. I definitely probably will get no pickles next time because I want to taste the mayonnaise more. <clears throat> God, I just love the chicken so much. It's so good. It's so juicy. It's huge. I just can't get enough of it. God, it's so good. I want to take out this last pickle. So now I've got just chicken and mayo. I'm 
Oh, it's so good. I love the bun too. The bread on this thing, it's so nice and soft and buttery. Also, the channel just passed 170 subscribers pretty early this morning, so yay us, yay me, yay channel. Oh my fucking god, dude. Whatever chicken patty they're using for this chicken sandwich, they honestly need to like sell it by itself. Because it would sell so good. Oh, yeah. Gosh, that's got to be the best chicken sandwich I've ever eaten in my life. All right, so... Now that my now that my moment of passion is over, now we move on to the mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, and I'll tell you guys about uh, how class was today. So today, we're in class. Uh. Advanced lighting design. We talked about um. We talked about sh making shop orders. Shop orders are basically exactly what they sound like. Um, you you make a list of things you need for your lighting design, and you submit that order to the scene shop, and they will get you all the things that you need. Um, so, our next assignment is that we have to we have to create our own shop order, and submit it to our professor. It shouldn't be too difficult because he's only giving us one week to do it. And so I'm going to try and at least start it tonight. Like as soon as I get home. And so Um, and then, today in Japanese, we're on to the next chapter. We're on to the next chapter, and um, now we're we're learning what are called progress words or progress forms, which is the way he's described it. In Japanese, progress forms are the equivalent of somebody in English saying using ing words. So I'm going, I'm working, I'm traveling. I'm playing, those kinds of things. We're learning how to do those words and use those word forms now.
Um, I did. I had to take my my next Japanese test on Friday, and I did not do very good on it. So I really gotta. I really gotta study up really hard for the next test, which the next test might actually be the final. At the very most, I only have two tests left in Japanese. And so if I can do decently well, if I can make like a, a 70 or a high 60 on a test, I can, de I can definitely absolutely pass the class. Cause I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like pass the class with flying colors or an A or something like that. I'm just trying to pass the class at the very least. <laughs> And so, yeah, we're gonna help. We're gonna help and pray that I can pass the class because because like this Friday or something is the last opportunity to drop a class with an automatic withdrawal, an automatic W. <laughs> and so, if I need to drop the class, I have to figure it out by Friday. So. But I don't think I don't I don't think I'm gonna drop the class. I have to I have to I have to pass the class in order to graduate. So I don't really have much of a choice. So um right, so that chicken sandwich that I just ate was probably the best chicken sandwich I've ever eaten in my entire life. If you have not ever had KFC's new chicken sandwich, they also have a spicy version. I just got the original version. If you've never had KFC's um, chicken sandwich, go out and try it. I guarantee it'll blow your mind. <laughs> um, if you all have any suggestions for food you'd like to see me eat here on the channel, then please leave them down in the comment sections. Once again, if you all enjoyed this video, then please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more content just like this in the future. Um, whenever you all do that for me, helps me stay motivated to make more content for you all in the future. <sighs> Once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye!